kitchen. Woo! In my simple, casual frock. Thank you very much. Because we are in another quarantine. Eh! <laughs> Nobody's going anywhere, darling. Anywhere at all. And we've got social unrest and political chaos and little, 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 lots of craziness going on. So I wear my frock, which makes me feel very close to nature and au naturel and very hippie-ish, actually, you know? Flowers and sunshine and peace and love <laughs> and power. Black Lives Matter. Yes, yes, yes. And I feel like it's a time when we realize we need to change a lot of things in the world. Yes which is very, very good and also very daunting. So putting my very casual frock on because let's just get down to work, shall we? <laughs> There's a lot to do. And in between all of the things you're doing to demonstrate and be an activist and all the fabulous things like that, please take a break to breathe and relax a little and recharge and cook <laughs> in particular bake baking to me always brings me such pleasure and comfort it makes me feel very centered and very zen when i bake it's a natural thing to do i really believe that cooking is a very natural creative outlet that's right so let's go au natural what are we making today mm, well something yummy for your tummy I'm making PB and Yay cookies. <laughs> That's right, PB and Yay. There's peanut butter, there's chocolate chips, and they're cookies. What's not to love about a cookie? It's a little snack you can grab. You don't have to commit to a dessert like a big piece of cake or something. It's a cookie. Doesn't harm a soul. <laughs> and these are gluten free. That's the Yay part. Gluten free. Well. Anytime it's a cookie, it's yay if you ask me. But right now it's yay because it's gluten free. So I think that's always nice. I wasn't planning to do gluten free, but I bought this almond flour on a fluke, on a whim. And I was like, mm, what am I going to make? And I started looking at all different things to make. And I decided to create the PB and Yay cookie. Huh, why not? So let's begin. I have got my oven at 350 degrees. And the first I'm going to, as always, we want to blend together our dry ingredients. Now, I love this cookie because it combines two of my favorite things in life, diamonds and champagne. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Peanut butter and chocolate. Yes, yum, yum, yum. Uh, okay, so let's put together our dry ingredients. We've got, what do we have? One and a fourth cups of almond flour which is this lovely flour we've got here. You know, it's nice to experiment with different flours. I don't mind gluten. I don't have a gluten problem. But, you know, it's always good to try different things. So, here we go. So this is going to be a cup. We'll get in there. And you know, you want to level off of baking. You always want to have level measurements. It's one and a four cups of almond flour lovely 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 put this here i need to organize myself better i have not organized it all these days and you know what i still managed to cook so you can too <laughs> even if your house is chaos your life is a mess darling you're a princess you are a princess that means you can cook and you are in command of your own life and let me tell you as a princess you have a voice you have power yes you have immense amounts of power and right now i'm going to put my creative power into baking yeah okay so that's the flour now i've got uh one teaspoon of baking powder always good to have these so you can rise and all those good things you need to do with baking so it's one teaspoon is this a teaspoon yes i just have to double check because you know a little wackadoodle these days teaspoon of baking powder Half a teaspoon of baking soda. These are the basics you should have in your kitchen at all times. Now, if you don't bake, you don't have these things in your kitchen at all times. But you know what? Try baking. Check it out. It's fun. 
and then you'll find that you'll have these things in your kitchen all the time. <laughs> so many people are baking these days, I think it's great. Okay, um, now we need salt, half a teaspoon of salt, where is that? Yes, 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 half a teaspoon. Oh, baking is so fun, it's so easy too. And then you can share your lovely desserts with all your friends and family and all your people in your royal court, like yourselves. Oh, my egg is going everywhere. Okay, put that over there. Okay, so I've got that, I'm just gonna whisk this together. My, my egg's on a roll. <laughs> it's on a roll, kids, stay over there, egg. My egg is at room temperature, by the way. It makes for better baking when your eggs and things are at room temperature. And my butter, my butter is also at room temperature. Okay. Because it's going to be easier to cream together my butter and things when it's at room temperature. So I've got that done. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Set that aside. Now I've got my mixer here. And I want to make sure it's all ready to go. It is wonderful. And I'm going to get my butter, which is one, two, three, four. I've got five tablespoons of butter. Four to five is what you need of butter. This is unsalted butter, room temperature. And let's just go ahead and give that a little stirry dirt 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 dirt. Dir. Yes, you break it up a little bit. Okay, very good. Now I want to add in the peanut butter. Why do you feel like I'm forgetting something? I'm not. Okay. I want a third a cup of peanut butter. I'm using the crunchy kind because I think that texture is very nice, but you could use whatever you want. So a third a cup. Now I know I have my third a cup here. See, I'm telling you, I'm losing my mind. I offer it in front of me. Oh, God bless you, COVID. You're killing me. Okay. <laughs> Let me get a spoon and a spatula. I'm gonna need them both. I'm telling you, I'm telling you kids, in the land of COVID, I am losing my mind. It's going to be okay. You know what? We're going to be okay. We're going to get this through, to get, get through this together, kids. And at the end of the day, hopefully we're going to have changes in the world that are going to be very positive. So that we can love one and love all. Okay. Almost done here. That's third. Oh, a little bit over. Get off there. Okay. Third cup of peanut butter. Right in here. I love peanut butter. It's delicious. You could use another kind of butter if you want. You could use almond butter, whatever. I did use almond flour, so I guess you could use almond butter. I want to start creaming this. Nice butter high. I love my mixer, it does all the work. Oh, already it smells of peanut butter so good. Peanut butter and butter. Butter, butter, butter. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Delish, 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 darling. Okay. I'm going to make this so it's pretty creamy and all incorporated. So keep it on three minutes. And what we do in the meantime to entertain ourselves is we do a little dance. We make a little love. Aha, uh -huh. wait, I can never do it right. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, oh, oh, oh. get down tonight, ha, ah, ah, ah. yeah baby, yeah baby, so feel yourself princesses, that's right, feel yourself, make it happen, make sure you know your power and how beautiful you are while you're making these cookies because that love will go into your cookies and that's a good thing. We're going, we're going, uh, 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 uh. You know how to do the sprinkler? Let's do the sprinkler dance, ready? <laughs> I don't even know if that's still applies to the next generation. Because you never probably have never even seen those sprinklers. 
exercise. There is a sprinkler on the ground and it went like this. And that's the sprinkler dance. <laughs> Try that at home. <laughs> oh, we have to be goofy. We have to, kids, because otherwise you'll just lose your mind from all the stress and anxiety in the world. Okay, I have an itch. Okay, now I want to add in the brown sugar. Na -na 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 -na. Brown sugar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got, um, what do I have in here? Three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. One. All the goodness in life in these cookies. Two. Three. Three. Yeah. Seems about right. Do 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 do. Brown sugar. Okay. On we go. And it's also really, really crazy. It smells so good. It really does. Okay. I'm going to add in my vanilla. I want a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. A It really is. Okay. Woo. Let's scrape down our bowl, shall we? Sure, why not? But I will tell you, like, when I'm feeling down, as soon as I get in the kitchen and start cooking something, I, my mood changes immediately. It's really just fascinating. You know? And when we can't go anywhere and go get a massage or anything like that, I mean, I have a full staff. Hello, I'm a princess in a castle. But even then, you know, I don't want to be around all these people with their possible COVID. So, you know, I'm social distancing friends. So, looking to something you can do that immediately is a mood and answer. Mood booster. Boost that mood. Baby, toast it. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure my pan's ready. I put two pans, and I'm gonna line them with silk pads so that they don't stick. Silk pad is a wonderful invention. Oh, Susanna. That's really old. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, 
okay, my mind is going to many different places. Mm. Very interesting, I'll tell you. Very interesting, the smells. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> smells, oh, oh. Mixy, 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 hello, dee 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 dee. Mixa, 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 Oh, mix now, mix it all up. Mixy, 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 mix. Oh! <laughs> I want to make fun of this. Well, mixed, so. We're going to take a minute. I need to have some water around or some kind of beverage when you have peanut butter because man is that sticky but it's so good you know so good okay I think I'm ready just want to stir my chips chocolate chips yes sorry Bob All right. I'm going to put up with you. I've got some leftover in here. So I'm going to use this up. Scissors. Okay. Very good. Let me just open up this one. Scissors again. Oh, yeah. Ah. If a couple 
don't get straw in your mouth. It's okay. If you eat a couple of chips, it's okay. These are semi-sweet. You can use whatever you want. Bittersweet. Whatever you like. Dark chocolate, dark chocolate one. Well, that's bittersweet. Whatever. You know what I mean. Because I just want to incorporate the chips into it. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to pummel the chips into submission. No. Not trying to do that. Okay. Of course, I'm always trying to get so much stuff off the beaters because I'm obsessed with that. All right. Now, what do we got? Now, we have our delicious. So, I'm just going to stir it once to make sure that I get everything from the bottom and that everything gets incorporated and all that lovely stuff. Okay. Now, it's time to scoop. It's the fun part. So, what am I doing? That goes there. Where's my scooper? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do heaping scoops. I'm going to do like, you know, just little scoops, like barely full. So they're not like too massive, because that's gonna be a good sized cookie. They look like little boobies. <laughs> you do want them to be uniform size, otherwise they cook at different uh, times. Some will cook faster than others and you don't want that. No. So, try to make these as even as possible. But you know, there's a thing called human error, and we all do it. Okay. Ah! This one got all mutated. Don't mutate on me. Oh, these are going to be good. That's too much. Get out. All right, we're just putting this on trays. Like so. Beautiful. I'm spreading this out really a lot. I don't know really why. I just kind of feel like it. So, you know, I am using two. You could probably use one um, baking sheet. Probably they will probably all fit on one baking sheet. But these are going to spread a little bit. So, you know, that's what's going on over here, kids. That's what's going on. Okay. Another one. I love the scooping. This part is fun. It really is. This. And then a little leftover. It's going to be weird. So, I'm going to make a tea baby cookie. But this one, I'm going to want to check. Maybe I'll just add on to another cookie. Mm, let's do that. <laughs> I'm just improvising as I go which is what we do in life. Princesses know how to improvise very, very, very well. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, let's taste. Mm. Pretty good. Okay, in the oven we go. 350 for how long? Mm. 10 to 11 minutes. Say 10, 10 minutes, we'll check it. All right, kids, I'll see you in a few. Well, hello, my little chickadees, my little pity shoe. <laughs> we are back. Look what I have finished. Cookies, PB and yay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. they smell divine. They have cool little bits. Come on, my little overcooked. That's called life. And some are just fine. So there you go. My cookies ended up taking 25 minutes to cook. Yes. Because of almond flour. Takes forever. Shall we try one? They are pretty. They are the perfect size. Mmm. Let's see. Ooh. They have a nice, dense texture. That looks good to me. Some chocolate is melted. We love that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. You know what? It's a really good cookie. It's not really sugary. I like that. Mmm. 
normally does like a lot of peanut butter it's more subtle and the texture is a nice like well almond texture <laughs> oh, thanks so much flour trying to see trying to give you a comparison of what the texture is like and it's definitely a cookie and it's delicious mmm I like So good, darlings. I hope you try this recipe at home. You know, they're cookies. What's not to love, like I said before? Mm -mm -mm. Chocolate, heaven. All right, kids. If you want my recipes, go to ladiesinthepink.com. Pink up a teat. And remember, you are a princess. Use your voice. Speak up. Use your inner and outer beauty to spread joy and happiness in the world. Ta-da!